Hey up my fantastic artistic numismatic friends, how are you all doing? Master Temple here and we're going to paint a lovely painting, I call it the laughter painting. I painted a picture very similar to this for uh, my good mate Laughter and uh, I'll pop a link up to that when he opened it, it was a fantastic, uh, fantastic reaction. The painting will be very very similar but I'm just painting from memory uh, so, so it will have some slight changes to it. I'm not. <laughs> We don't do uh, tracings or copies or anything like that here. We just, just paint from memory and away we go. So we've coated this big black canvas in uh, black gesso, allowed it to dry. Then we've gone over it with uh, liquid clear or a thin layer of linseed oil. And then to that, we're just adding some blues and crimsons and maybe a bit of, bit of red every now and again to this, uh, to this black color to make a transparent color which will uh, will allow the paint to slick uh, to slick and slide all over the all over the canvas. So let's get on with it. So with white paint on a fan brush, we can just swoosh in a, a nice little evening sky, night sky, or very moody dark sky. That's all we're doing, and we're we're rocking the fan brush from side to side. Now I'm going to try and answer some questions from the giveaway. Um, that happened a couple of couple of weeks ago. If I if I get round to it, because it's been it's been one crazy crazy week. I tell you all. So all we're doing is swooshing in some white titanium white paint, and it's hitting the colours that are on the canvas. And all we're going to do now is take a big dry brush and blend this out, just smooth in the sky. Now, the first question comes from Dennis Fitzpatrick. Hiya, Dennis. Um, he says, how high do you think Leeds will finish in the league this year? Well, I'm a big Leeds United fan, and I assume he means Leeds United. And I think they're going to finish top of the Premier League. Absolutely. Finish top of the Premier League. So here we go. We're going to paint the, the big nighttime rocks, the big mountains. So dark colour on the palette knife. And all we're doing is pulling down bit of a different mountain it's, it's like a standalone big old rock it's gonna have some different colors in it than, than the usual whites and blues so we're just pulling down that color and that's all we're doing like big peaks big towers so Roger O'Neill says Absolutely fantastic painting. Where would the coin tuberverse be without you? <laughs> it probably be just coins and other <laughs> other bits. I don't know. I don't know. Brilliant stuff. So yeah, we're just adding black paint, dark paint, and with a small brush, all we're gonna do is is pull out and smooth out the paint. That's all we're gonna do. And it allows the next layers to go on quite smoothly removes excess paint and gives us some definition to a to a nighttime mountain scene. Katie Jones coins, cracking giveaway my sub twin so well deserved. <laughs> Good luck to everyone. So highlights for this mountain uh, a mixture of browns and whites. Just lightly caressing the canvas, just 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 barely touching it, just barely touching. And every now and again, we'll grab a bit of a bit of white, just to sparkle some of these areas off as the, as the moonlight is hitting, is hitting the sides of the rock. That's all we're doing. There we go. So gently do as it, no pressure. Just want the, the paint to break and gives all the, the interesting nooks and crannies out there. There we go, a bit of white paint. Just a bit of a sparkle. Just a bit of a sparkle. Let's get let's get another question on the go. So Wally Robson says uh, Amazing giveaway, fantastic, uh, sorry, favourite artist or painting? <laughs> well, that has to be obviously Bob Ross, but uh, my favourite painting would possibly be, yeah, uh, um, probably, oh, there's so many good, good ones of the, of the um, 
from the Renaissance period. It's hard to choose David, perhaps. Hmm. But definitely go back to Bob Ross. Bob Ross, he is my favourite artist, and any piece of work that he does is, is, is awesome. So here we do a bit of the shadow side. So all we've done is cool, cool the... Um, I like colour down by adding a bit of blue into that, not much, just a touch and we can sneak in some shadows in here so we've added blue to the to the warm brown colour and that's given us a, a nice shadow and again we've, we've worked on angles so every angle um, it needs to go off in the same direction but on the other side if that makes sense we can just play about with this and again like I said this is not an exact duplicate of, of Laughter's painting it's, a, it's going to have some slight differences but uh, like I've said before I'll pop a link somewhere so you can go see what, what Laughter's looks like so some white paint on the brush and we're just going to mist out this this base now usually if I had liquid white on the canvas I'd just hit it without the white on the paintbrush but I'm adding some paint to this to, to mist it up like a fallen cloud out the sky it's just hitting the base of the mountain shrouded in mystery, shrouded in fog absolutely and again the white keep tapping hard enough it's going to mix with the colour that's on the canvas and it's going to give us uh, some lovely variants of colours. So I'm doing this pocket change through time. Uh, it says, what's your favourite coin and what made you start collecting coins? Well, my favourite coin changes every single day, every minute of every day. But I'm going to have to go with the Taekwondo coin from, from the 2011 Olympic set. So the 2012 Olympics, they came out in 2011. Um, the Taekwondo coin is one of my favourites for obvious reasons. I'm a fourth down black belt at Taekwondo. Uh, and what made you start collecting coins? I've, I've mentioned this several times. My grandfather did collect coins, but failed to get me into collecting because I like pocket money and spending it on sweets. But uh, in more recent years, um, the king of coins, Christopher Collects, he, he, I came across his channel and boom, that's it. Just, just started it off for me, really. I thought this is interesting and away we go. Right, so if memory serves me right, there were some, some red evergreen trees in the background. And we're just, all we're doing is taking the, some, some bright red with a touch of crimson mixed in there. And every now and again, I'll hit a bit of a phthalo blue just to cool things down. And we're just putting some little evergreen trees quite far away, you can't really make any anything out on them, just, just the general shape of a small forest way back, way back here, and it really stands out against the, uh, it really stands out against the fog of the mountain, just like that, just on a fan brush, just on a fan brush, so bungle, my mate Bungle collects coins. Such a beautiful giveaway, my beautiful man. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, my question is, how much did you pay for the 1994 coin set? And he's got a boatload of Taekwondo emojis after it. And a big love heart, obviously. Um, how much did I pay for it? Well, you'll have to go and see the uh, the video where I purchased the, the, the coin sets. <laughs> but I haggle. I haggle a lot. I like a good deal. I like a good deal. Fair, a fair deal, but a good one. So with this fan brush, all we're doing is is taking a bit of um, just a darker colour, not much, just hit the blue, like I said, and we're picking out some some different, you know, limbs of trees. Bit of scrub on the on the on the base. That's all we're doing, putting it in. You may, you may see me shudder jumping from side to side where I have to stop the video. I have to clean the I have to clean the brushes and I don't think that'll be <laughs> quite entertaining. But I think next week's video, I just paint constantly all the way through, non-stop. No cleaning required. 
So light paint on the brush. All it is is just a bit of titanium white and we're just hitting the base of this these trees and just slightly lifting up to give a bit of a foggy, misty area down at the bottom of these trees. Again, this would be easier to do if you had liquid white on the canvas, but we want the, the contrast between the dark colours and, and, and the blacks on the canvas against the, uh, the colours that we've painted on there. So this brush just had, the, uh, just had some white on there. That's what we created the fog with. And we'll bring that fog now right in front of these trees so they get pushed back into the distance. They get pushed back into the distance. Happy days, happy days. Chris Harrison asks, how long have I been a black belt at Taekwondo for? Oh, that's, that's a good question. A black belt in particular, probably about 10, 12 years, I suppose, possibly. Yeah, I've been doing Taekwondo a long time. Um, it takes about three or four years non-stop training to get to black belt stage you know if you go through the ranks of yellow belts green belts blue belts red belts finally to black belts um and i think yeah so probably about 10 10 12 years give or take <laughs> i've been kicked in head a few times so <laughs> timing's not my uh, strong point so Andy Baker, and he asks, and Andy actually won the prize. He actually won one of the prizes. He, he asks, uh, how long I've been collecting coins? Well, a couple of years. Uh, I think I answered that in the giveaway video. But a couple of years. Now we're just putting in this stream. Um, and we, all we're doing, little light fan brush, bit of, bit of white paint. Dulled down a little bit with a bit of blue, but remember it's going to pick up the, the colour that we previously put on the canvas. And every now and again, we're going to spill out and have some little waterfalls. That's all we're going to do. That's all we're going to do. Just like that. And then we can put some some more splishes and splashes, bit of a stream running off here and there. It's always reminded me of, uh, uh, of the mint when we were at the mint, the royal mint in Wales. And I suppose that's what made me think of laughter when I was doing it. Yeah, good stuff. Happy days, happy days. Paul McQueen says, uh, Hi Master Temple, that's a beautiful painting. Are you a self-taught artist or have I been to art college or art school? Um, I have never been to art college and I've never been to art school. Um, I, I've, I've stated this several times. I was, I was horrible at art uh, as, a, as a young youngster at school. Um, failed my GCSEs in art. Um, couldn't draw a stick man. I just no good. Uh, but the desire was there. I started watching the Bob Ross painting shows. We finally got Sky TV in my house and I watched Bob Ross in the early 90s, something like that, and uh, I was hooked. And when I left school, I got a little part-time job, bought some paints and, and here we are, still doing the same <laughs> same stuff 20 odd years later, it's, it's brilliant. So, so I'm self-taught, <laughs> long-winded answer, but I'm self-taught. But thanks for that. Thanks for that question. So the stream it goes off to the side. I don't know exactly where it goes on Laughter's picture, but um, it's somewhere about. Like I said before, it's not a exact copy, but it'll give you an idea of how it was created. So Richard Swift or Rich Swift says. Uh, my question for the giveaway is, what was the first coin you found that started you on the collecting journey? Oh, oh that's, a, that's a good question. I mean, I've always had the Taekwondo coin in my, uh, in my Taekwondo kick bag. Now, kick bag. And that's, that's been there for about nine years. But I put in an album now. But more recent times, 
I remember getting an Isaac Newton from where I worked back in 2018 and I thought that's a pretty nice coin and um, I, I do remember having a Jemima Puddle Duck but before I collected coins so <laughs> that got thrown back into circulation uh, I remember Benjamin Britons and things like that and, but, but yeah and WWF who, who doesn't remember the WWF fantastic coins but um, yeah yeah uh, I don't know, to be honest. Um, but I'd say no. So, moving forward, we need to enclose this little uh, this little stream in. So we'll just tip tap in with a fan brush. Some of the the colours that we made the evergreen trees with in the background, but we've sort of lightened them up a little bit. Just change the flavour of the paint slightly, just to just to give a variant of colour. That's all we're doing, just a variant of colour. And we're just encasing this little stream in. That's all we're doing. So it don't run away from us, you see. So it don't run away from us. And then we cut in with a palette knife a little water line. A little water line. <laughs> okay, so. Um, the Honey Monster says, uh, how many coins have I made for fellow coin tubers? So if, if you're not aware, I make coin tuber coins. And uh, it's out of, out of brass and aluminium and I knock them all together and I, I, I hand them out to, to, to fellow coin collectors who've, who've done lots of hard work on their channels. I would say possibly about about 15, but I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. And there's a new batch going out very soon, hopefully, hopefully to, to some new coin collectors. Um, about I'd say about 15, but I'm not sure. Give a tech. There's not many. I, I know that. Right. So let's put a tree in here. So I've double loaded this little round brush, a little white paint, a little dark paint, and we're just going to put some. Highlights and shadows all in one go on this tree to give it a, a little bit of a rounded effect. There we go. There we go. Just reinforce that little highlight. Once this painting's done, I'll uh, we'll do a close up of it as well. So, so happy days. And I think we had a tree on the other side. I'm not sure how many trees we had two or three. Let's give this tree an arm. Just waving at the big old mountain in the background. <laughs> but yeah. And we have a question from the big man laughter himself. So excellent stuff. Good luck everyone. Top man Dan. What is your favourite takeaway? I love takeaways. I love takeaway food. I'm quite partial at the moment for, for Burger King. <laughs> and I don't know why. But I do love the the good kebab shops and Chinese takeaways and uh, pizzas, anything I can get my hands on, really. <laughs> Anyone, any of, as long as they're clean and healthy, I don't mind. I don't mind what they are. But the, they just make food taste so good, and they take, they take, the cleaning up afterwards and 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 the cooking out of the equation. And they also can give you some. Quality fifty pence pieces in the uh, in the change. <laughs> so brilliant stuff. <laughs> I might have a takeaway tonight. So let's put some with some really thin paint on, uh, same colour as the trees. Really thin paint. We'll put some smaller sticks and twigs. Because we're going to put some leaves on on these trees. So put some sticks, twigs, all sorts of little things down here. We'll just re highlight this side. Remember, the, the, uh, the mountain dictates which side his light comes from. So we'll just re firm that with a bit of lighter brown paint. So Kayla fan number one, UWU, uh, says, uh, By any chance, can you paint a leopard? 
that would be happy days. So, um, so Kayla fan number one, I, I, I've never really painted animals. I'm, I'm not really that good at painting animals as such. I, I mean, I have obviously tried and, and, and done things like that, uh, and it, it just takes too, too long. Not only does it take too long, I'm very impatient, you see. Not only does, does it take too long, if you get something wrong, it is highly noticeable. Highly noticeable. If you put an eye in the wrong place or or, or what, it's, it's highly noticeable. So I'll, I'll stick to painting skies and mountains and things. Now what you've seen I've done here, I went wonky with the... Uh, with, with, with the liner brush, no, sorry, the the waterline. It looked like to me, it looked like it was running off the painting. So all I did was blend that back, and we recut it in. That's all we do. So no mistakes are made. We can work with anything, anything. Lighty collects, good old Lighty. If you could have any coin, past or present, any country, what would you pick? Right, so that's a good question. Past or present. Uh, in the past, I would like to have had uh, a big silver groat or whatever it is. You, you know, just, just an old coin like that would be awesome. But but moving forward to, to um, the present day, it would have to be something like, I've seen the ACDC set. Uh, you may have heard me mention it on Caledonia Coins' channel. The ACDC set that's um, that's come out in, in Australia. Big fan of coins. I'm, I'm a big fan of, of rock and roll as well. So I, I'd like that, but they're quite expensive. So maybe not. I don't know. Maybe Santa Claus might be kind to me this year. <laughs> if I've been a good lad. <laughs> right, so let's put some uh, some foliage on these trees up here. So this is a bit of dark colour. Nothing too special, any old dark colour will do. I'll just hit it in. Now this is where I have a bit of a memory blank. I can't remember what colour we painted Laughter's trees. So, and I... I don't even know, I can't even remember how many trees there were. I only, got, I only could remember the basic gist of the trees. So there we go, so, so. And all we did then, we load the brush up and lightly touch where the, uh, where the, uh, where the leaves should be. And then we'll come, come in with some, some lighter color. So for these trees, the light color is a mixture of, of, of yellow ochres and the smallest amount of sap green on that smallest amount of sap green just to just to change the flavor of, um, of the yellow ochre and again a light touch we're not letting the, the brush slide about on the uh, on the canvas just a light touch just a light touch Shuey, Shuey 08, he asks, uh, were you inspired by anyone to start painting? Obviously, uh, I was inspired by Bob Ross. He, he inspired, he inspired me to start painting. I, I watched a few other artists as well, you know, um, um, there's a guy called Frank Clark from Ireland, and Bill Alexander, um, German guy who taught Bob Ross actually they're, they're quite good Pete Alt says if you are not collecting coins what uh, what would I collect I've collected everything over the years I'm a kleptomaniac when I was a small boy I used to collect marbles and and um, little trading cards uh, garbage patch kids cards or whatever they were uh, I used to collect bottle tops there used to be wonderful different bottle tops um yeah, just progress from there, yeah, you know. I think once you're a collector, you will collect anything. Anything that tra takes your interest, you'll collect. Fishing tackle. Well, fishing lures, in fact. that They have boxes and boxes of them. They're no good at fishing. 
So gently putting some highlights on on this undergrowth here, and on the uh, and on the uh, tree itself, just where the moonlight will sparkle, just like that. So what we've done is is lightened the paint up a slight bit, a bit of a. <laughs> I'm painting this at night, so so moth flew in then. There we go. He's back again. Must be, must be attracted to moonlight in this painting. <laughs> there we go. Little bit, little bit foliage down at the bottom. Again, that's just yellow ochres, cadmium yellow, and a, a touch of sap green. It's just there we go. That little waterfall we're doing. It wasn't doing anything for me. Just needed a touch more, touch more blue. There we have it. There we have it. Let's let's see if we can get another question. Do you watch or is this an Ed Lovering? Do you watch all the Bob Ross painting videos? I absolutely do. When I can, I always do. I've probably seen them all a million times now, so and they're amazing. I never tire of watching them. Right, so this is signed in the bottom corner. Thank you guys for your questions. Big brush time. Here we go, then we can remove the masking tape. And that's the finished object. Not quite the same as laughter's, but you get a rough idea of how it's done. Fantastic stuff. If you do like this, subscribe, give me a like, and your usual stuff, my fantastic friends. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Happy days.